All right, we turn now to politics, and for that, we are joined by Orange County political reporter, Orange County Register, that is, political reporter, Peggy Lowe. We're glad to have you back with us, Peggy. Hey Let's guys. talk, uh, first of all, about uh, former Sheriff Mike Corona. His trial was expected to begin in June. Right. Um, a delay now uh, in the trial proceedings. It'll be in August. What's behind that? It's certainly not uncommon, and Corona's attorneys asked for this. They wanted it delayed because they said, hey, the government has had four years to prepare this case, and we have got boxes and boxes and boxes of evidence to go through so we need more time mm -hmm. and the judge uh, essentially agreed with them and said that's fine and they put it off till August they were thinking about October as well because it's all a matter really of just of scheduling and so now what about the other side though do they get a say in, in whether or not the trial is postponed to a different they day? get to say and they fought it and they didn't want it moved but they certainly understand so um, this is pretty common. Right. Now, what about a change of venue? We haven't heard anything about that as of, you know, in, in the past couple of days. What's going on with that? Well, they're going to be back in court tomorrow, and that's one of the things they're going to be talking about. Of course, the, the big thing here is that Corona's attorneys are saying that this um, KFI show called Ken and John, mm -hmm. who have been doing this Let's Taint the Jury Pool shows uh, quite often, from what I understand, mm -hmm. that that it will taint the, the jury pool and that Corona should have his trial moved out of the county. And the government, of course, is fighting that. So this week, what they did is they want to get the Arbitron ratings, you know, the ratings that Ken and John get to see how many people they reach that could p possibly have a bad feeling about my oh, Corona. Huge. So they're trying, they're fighting yeah. about that at this point. So they'll be talking about that in federal court tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, talking about um, changes in sheriff and everything that goes with it, acting sheriff uh, Jack Anderson has continued to make some changes. What's the latest that's being made in the jail? The latest was something he announced at the soups meeting on Tuesday. He's been at the soups meeting every Tuesday, by the way, since that you know devastating grand jury report was released. Essentially, Supervisor Bill Campbell had said, hey, I know you're going to put cameras in the jail, and those are needed, so thank you. But he would like audio to go with the video surveillance. And Jack said, I have some issues about personal freedom, and I, you know, guys talking to each other, maybe about personal things, say, on a shift that would become public record. And so he worried about that. But he has come up with a way, he says, to hopefully allow the audio um, as, part of the, as part of this uh, surveillance feed um, while having some things in place like um, there'll be a light on in the, d in the guard station when the audio feed is on, for instance. It will only be triggered if there's a safety problem. It will only be triggered by a supervisor if they think there's a threat of danger, that kind of thing. So he thinks he's come up with a balance of personal freedom issues uh, and safety issues. And will there be someone there, um, though, deciding when it goes on and, and when it doesn't come on in the event that there's not an emergency, there must be someone there who can flip the switch. That's absolutely right. It'll be the supervisor. And he said, actually, this is the fifth kind of audio feed that would be allowed in. There's many, many safety things throughout the jails. You can hit a, you know, a panic button. You can hit a, a radio, the deputies on their, on their um, uniforms. Mm -hmm. So this is just another safety measure, essentially, put in place because of the John Chamberlain grand jury report. And is there any precedence for this? Do we know in other jails? Not in Orange County. Certainly not, not in Orange County. County. No. Okay, and do they have a, a, a timeline as to when this is going to start happening? Uh, whenever you ask Jack what the timeline will be, everything is as soon as possible. As soon as, <laughs> as, right. soon as humanly possible, yeah. 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 Talking about as soon as possible, anything going on right now with uh, the replacement for Mike Corona? Um, it'll be a big uh, day next Tuesday. The soups are inviting public, the public to come and comment. So they've set it for 1.30 next Tuesday. If you want to go down and talk to the soups about what you believe that the, the new sheriff should be, should be asked what we should be searching for. You get to go tell the soups on Tuesday. Now, Supervisor John Morlock, who is the chair, said, we don't want you coming here to advocate for a certain candidate, but come tell us what you think. They also set up an online feature where you can email the soups, and that's up on my blog right now. So you can actually fill something out and say, hey, ask them this, ask them that. Really? So it's pretty cool. Are they going to put a deadline on this? I mean, how long mm -hmm. is that going to go into <laughs> That will be up, I think, through maybe Sunday, Monday, because, or, or further, I can't recall the date, actually, but yeah, there is a deadline. So anybody who wants a part of this process can actually talk to the soups. That'll be well. interesting. And of course, you'll be there. Of course I will. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> one la final quick thing. Chris Street drama uh, has a bit of a revolution, uh, <laughs> a resolution. resolution at this yeah. point. Uh, can, can you sum that up for us? It could be a revolution, too. It could be that Who as knows? Well. This ain't over. <laughs> um, it looks like his involvement in a controversial purchasing contract yeah. has been, he's been cleared by an internal investigation that the CEO did. Now the high drama drama is uh, <laughs> Morlock and Street are kind of bickering via email and memos, and that, too, is up on our blog, so it's pretty funny. Yeah. Very good. All right. Thanks a lot, Peggy. Good to Thanks. see you. Thanks, Peggy.